tomato soup in a cake? Yes. Today I'm gonna to show you a mystery cake recipe and when you take it and serve it to your friends, they are all going to be wondering what makes it so good and guess what? It's a can of tomato soup. Let me show you how to make this delicious homemade spice cake. This cake is really easy to whip up with a stand mixer. If you have a hand mixer, you can use that too. I have a fourth of a cup of softened butter and I'm gonna put that right into the mixer along with one cup of white sugar. Put your blade on the mixer and cream the butter and sugar. Once the butter and sugar are creamed together, you'll take two large eggs and crack those right in and mix them in. Then we'll add the dry ingredients. Some cake recipes call for mixing dry ingredients separately and then adding them in. For this easy cake recipe, we'll just put them right into the bowl. So in the bowl, I'll put in one and a half cups of white flour, one teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of baking powder, one teaspoon of cloves, one teaspoon of cinnamon, and one teaspoon of nutmeg. And all three of those spices are gonna give such a delicious flavor to the cake. Go ahead and beat those in. At this point, the cake batter is going to be really thick, almost like a cookie dough. Now it's time to add the tomato soup. So take one can of tomato soup and just add that right into the cake batter. Now we think spice cake is so good with raisins and walnuts. So if you'd like, you can put in one cup of raisins and half of a cup of walnuts and then mix that together. If your family does not like raisins or nuts, you can leave either one or both of those out and you will just have a delicious, smooth spice cake. Blend those ingredients together. I'll scrape the sides of the bowl one time just to make sure everything is mixed into the cake batter. And set it to mix one last time. Once it's all mixed together, it's time to fill the pan. Get a nine by 13 cake pan and spray it with cooking spray. And then pour the cake batter into the pan. And take a spatula and smooth that cake batter evenly over the bottom of the pan. This cake bakes in a 350 degree Fahrenheit oven for about 28 to 30 minutes. Set your oven first for 28, check it to see if it's done. If it's not quite set in the center, add just a few more minutes. As the cake is cooling, you can mix up the homemade cream cheese frosting. So I have a small bowl and to it, I'll add one stick or half of a cup of softened butter. You can use salted butter or, or unsalted butter. I almost always have salted butter on hand, so that's usually what I use in recipes and it turns out completely fine. Then add in eight ounces of room temperature cream cheese. If your butter and cream cheese are at room temperature or softened, they will mix together much more smoothly. Before you mix, add in one teaspoon of vanilla extract, and then take a hand mixer and mix that together. Once you've creamed that together, add one and a half cups of powdered sugar and mix again. Once it's all smooth, it's time to frost the cake. You'll want to make sure the cake is completely cool before you frost it. Take a spatula and dollop that frosting on top. And then I like to use an offset spatula to spread it all over the top. Now, if you don't wanna add this much frosting, you can of course make less frosting if you'd like. You could put a simple powdered sugar glaze on top. You could even just sprinkle the top with powdered sugar dusting on top. Or there are recipes that call for tomato soup cake with a caramel frosting, and it honestly looks delicious. But we love cream cheese frosting with spice cake, so we chose to frost our cake with that. If you'd like, you can take some chopped walnuts to put on top. And then the cake is ready to serve. 
Now this cake makes a great potluck cake. I like it because you can cut it in small slices if you'd like so everybody can have a taste and you will have a blast telling your friends what the secret ingredient in this cake is. Thanks for watching today. I'm Julie from The Best Cake Recipes. Be sure to like, subscribe, visit our website, thebestcakerecipes.com, and be sure to check back next week for a new video.